Hello and welcome to this uh, Bermoflex Tips and Tricks here. Okay, I'm going to actually show you how to configure a connection and add an expression to a connection and then configure the parameters to actually ingest your connection settings and your connection string into that. So firstly to note, I am using bundle um, 62805 which was created the 5th of April 2018. And if you're using an earlier version of Bermoflex, um, you may have to um, just adjust it a little bit there. So the first thing I'm going to do is I have just got a sample project here that does source staging with the dimensional data warehouse on it and I've built this out as a starting point. So let me show you the, the result of that and this is the source staging packages. Down the bottom here you'll see that here's my connections and you'll see there's a missing sort of fx sign at the bottom here meaning it's not configured for connections or it's not configured with an expression. So let me show you in Bimoflex how to set that up. So we head over here to our Bimoflex ribbon and under the connection here, I'll go to connection expression. So what I want to do here is it comes with a bit of a sample filled in for me, but I want to actually go and configure the Bimmel catalog connection here. So let me right click that and I'm just going to go and copy the Bimmel just so I get the connection string that I'm looking after, looking for here. So the first thing we need to do with an, any ex extension point is we need to say what extension point are we targeting or what object are we targeting. So if we just go ahead here and type the word target, um, now I can just grab the name of the Bimmel catalog saying that I'm targeting this connection and I want to add an expression, a connection string to it. Let me clean this out a little bit. I'll take some of this sort of um, text out of this. And now all I need to do is go and actually configure the connection string. The connection string is obviously this bit here. Um, so now I'm going to just grab the first bit here because I want to parameterize this with the server name. I'm going to go and grab that and just copy and paste it over the, the, the example that exists. And then I'll take the back end of this and I'll put it in the second part of it, right? There we go. And last but not least, I'm going to go and rename the parameter to server name. Now you can have as many of these project parameters as you want or as little as you want. So let me just remove that. So there is my connection expression. So now when I build this out, my Bimble catalog will have an expression instead of a, a just a straight connection string that I can now parameterize. However, I need to do something a little bit more. You may at this point forget to do the project parameter, which I'll show you in a second here. What will happen is you'll, if you hit the build button, you'll get an error. Now I'm actually gonna build this out to show you the error that you will get. So I'll hit the build button here. All right, so the build is completed. And as you can see here, I have this error message saying the variable project server name was not found. That is because I haven't actually added the, add the parameter to the project. How do I go about this again? Head up to the Bimoflex ribbon here, go to project and say project parameter. Okay, and as luck would have it, I already have a parameter here called server name. So again, I'm just going to remove this and grab that out. So the next thing again, the first thing we want to do for extension point is we want to say what are we targeting. So again, I just hit the word target. And now I can do two things with project parameters. I can either go and individually target every single project where this connection is used, which if it's the Bimmel catalog, it's everyone. Or what we've added in this bundle and for any bundle going forward is, you actually have added a global um, parameter. So if you just give it the name at that global, it will now go and say, I'm going to add this parameter to every single project that you have. Right, so now I can go and say, oh, I'm going to add this to every project. Now again, as I said, this is you could also be very more, a lot more specific by adding it to these individual projects as themselves because you may have project parameters that are specific to just this project or that project. But if you have a, a project parameter here that you want to add to all of your projects, you give it the, uh, the target of add, add global. So again, I'm going to go ahead and build this out and then show you the output and show you how where that is configured in the SS package. So the build has been successful. I will now head over to Visual Studio, hit reload, which will reload the packages from the build. And as you can see here, here's my Bumble catalog that has now been configured. And if I look at the expressions here, you will see that this expression has been added, exactly what we've wanted. Okay, so there's a project server name. Also, in the Solution Explorer, in the project parameters, we now have the server name project parameter being added here, which means is when we deploy this to our SIS catalog, we now can use environment to actually go and configure our different servers. So that's the easy way to just quickly go and configure your parameters or your connections and parameterize them. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next tips and tricks.